All right, we're here with Katie Compton. She's known best for her accomplishments in cyclocross, but for the last several days, she's been racing the Tour of America's Dairyland. So thanks for joining us, Katie. Thanks. Good thanks. morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> Early morning for me. Yeah. Race things. How did you come to race the Tour of America's Dairyland? Um, I raced it uh, three like three years ago with uh, UHC. A friend of mine, he used to race for UHC. Um, she said how great the racing was and uh, encouraged me to do it. And I was able to guest ride for them for a couple races. So um, I came out for like the last five or six races of the series. And we had a really good time, won some good prize money. We had a good team. So I just enjoyed it. And then last year I came out and did the full 11 days um, with IS Corp. And then this year, same thing. It's mostly, I just really love the crit racing. I like the speed. It's fun racing. I like the 11 days of it where I can look at it as a stage race, um, just get some really good speed work in and kind of overload. Um, it helps me to get fit without having to do intervals. So that makes it easier. Race your way into shape. Mm -hmm. And t tell me a little bit about the team that you're there with that invited you there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm riding with IS Corp. Um, the girls start racing. I had a couple girls help me out on Tuesday night for Janesville and then um, they started racing in last night. So they're mostly coming in for the end of it. Um, there's a lot of fresh people coming in, <laughs> you know, at the end of Toad. So that kind of makes it hard for everyone who's been racing since day, day one. Um, but the racing's getting faster and more teams are coming out. So, um, there's also more prize money, more free money. So that's, that's also pretty good motivation. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, it's a good, good team to race for. It's a good group of women and I have fun racing with others and not just doing it on my own. So last, uh, first week was tough, but, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to more, uh, more team, team tactics, I guess. So you've already said it's good. You don't have to do intervals by racing the crits. And yeah. so is this a, a good way to check your form, um, a little bit mid season before you come yeah. into cyclocross just to, to get a little bit of a peak to be able to rest afterwards? Or how does that work for you fitness wise? Yeah. I mean, the older I get, I'm going to be 40 in December. And so I found that I just need to not, I need to continue doing some racing and doing some speed work. So I don't get too far away from that high end, high intensity work. Um, you know, the harder you get, the, the harder it takes to get it back and the longer it takes to get it back. So for me, I like to keep racing throughout the year, not as much obviously as cross season, but like, um, after I have a, uh, take a break in, uh, March and April, I start ramping up again and with like, obviously the, the base miles and longer, longer rides and base training. But, uh, it helps to have that race intensity because you can go out and do intervals on your own, but when you're trying to follow wheels and trying to sprint out of corners and you're trying to go fast, it helps to know what fast is. And if you don't do it, you know, if you wait six months to do it again, you kind of forget what speed's like. So, um, for me, I, I think it's good to have like, uh, an early season speed block and then I'll do come back and recover and rest and do some more speed leading up for cross season in September. Well, it seems like you're more than trying to go fast since you've got two podiums and seven top 10 finishes so far. Yeah. No, I've been working on my sprint. I've been working on my finish and, um, I just enjoyed it. So my sprint isn't awesome. And so it's something I need to, I've always needed to work on it. Um, I'm definitely more of like an all round racer and technical rider. So for me, um, sprinting is something I need to work on. So that's toads a perfect place to do it because there's so many preems and, you know, there's so many fast finishes and different finishes depending on where the last corner is, the finish line. So for me, it's just really good practice of positioning and, you know, how hard I can go when I need to go. Um, so I've made a few mistakes, but for the most part, I'm fairly happy with uh, some, some good good top five finishes. That's good to hear. So yeah. from crit racing versus cyclocross racing, do, do you have something that's a pre-race ritual or something that you do to get ready for racing that is the same for both or how does that differ? Um, it's fairly similar. Honestly, my warm up is fairly similar, obviously for a crit or a road race or a cross race, my warm up is different, but for me, I need to do like, I'll do like a roller session in the morning or ride in the morning. But for me, I need 20 or 30 minutes on the rollers just to kind of, um, it's kind of like a meditative part, I guess, where I can just relax and think about the race and think about how I feel and um, maybe how I'm going to approach the day. 
so for me, I kind of use that as like uh, some alone time just to kind of focus on my body and, and where I feel right now. So um, probably for cross season, it's that time on the rollers and same thing with this. Since we're racing at night, I'll ride in the morning and do rollers in the morning or something. Um, but that's probably the only ritual I have. Honestly, um, I just try to not worry about things too much and enjoy the day and <laughs> um I don't focus on need, needing to that stuff just to perform. Gotcha. You need to be flexible as a bike racer. You, you don't need a little bit yeah. of the uh, the coffee to yeah, get so going? Coffee every morning, but that's like a ritual regardless of if I was racing or not. Gotcha. <laughs> so in the name of, uh, of brevity, keeping this a little bit short, uh, we, yeah. like to, uh, we like to take these sessions and end them out with a little bit of speed round questions. So okay. not a lot of thought here. A couple of rapid fire questions. Okay. Cross or crits? Cross. Cake or pie? Cake. Cake. Run-ups or barriers? Mm. Run-ups. Okay, interesting. Okay. Beach <laughs> or mountains? Mountains. Tacos or burritos? Tacos. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell me one more time the team that you're guest riding with again. Uh, IS Corp. IS Corp. Well, yeah, they're based out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, good luck to IS Corp, to you, Racing Tour of America's Dairyland. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your morning to talk to us, and have great racing. Awesome. Thank you. Been fun.